okay, often I'm at a maker event and young children want me to make nameplates for them and I like to freestyle the letters. It's kind of mysterious for the children to watch me just make their letters out of nowhere. So I'm going to show you how I do that. If I'm going to make the name George, I just quickly block out the name G E O R G E. And each one of these spaces is the letter. And I'm going to connect each letter together so it's one big piece with fonts all interconnected. And I'm going to freestyle that. And then as you begin to form your letter forms, you could use a pencil to draw them out. But since I have a lot of experience, I can kind of see where the letter's going and I could see it in my mind. G-E-O-R-G-E. -E. And it's also important to recognize where each letter is going to be stuck to the letter next to it so that all the letters form one object. So there's the E. I tend to cut out what's quickest first. Sometimes I'll begin to nibble knowing that the surface of the letter, the front surface is the most important. I'll lift the letter up so I get an easier nibble. So I'm just worried about the front surface of the letter more than the back. Same thing here. And by doing that I get a much easier cut. G-E-O-R-G-E. -E. I misspell everything, so I have to constantly keep checking. G-E-O-R. I got a little screwy here with the R next to the G, but I was able to make it work. And don't get too uptight about the letters themselves. You're just doing bubble letters, just like you would have drawn on your notebook in, in elementary school. You're doing the same thing. And it's good practice because you'll find yourself caught up in little dead ends and you're not sure how to get out of them. It's a good thing to learn how to nibble with the bandsaw. As you nibble, you can create a turnaround without having to go too far into no man's land where you don't want to be. I take advantage of the little hole that's around the blade. I let the tiny pieces fall through. And then as you begin to make your letter forms, you might want to change the the weight of each letter and you can cut fully the depth of the whole piece of material or you'll notice I begin to lift the letter up the whole sign up and just nibble at the front edge because the front edge is most important if you are relying on the rake of the blade to grab the entire girth of the material to do a correction you might find yourself overcorrecting, and you'll take out more than you really wanted that's why I like to lift the sign up and nibble at just the front edge of the letter because you're not going to really notice the back if it's incorrect, but you'll certainly notice the very front edge if it's incorrect. And just have fun and don't get too uptight. And if you do get yourself caught up in a jam, you can just cut the sign in half or cut the letters apart and glue them back together. I always keep a pencil in my hand so I can flick away stuff if I can't blow it away. But what's nice is that when you're done cutting it out, you have one nice little piece to hand to whoever's sitting there watching you. Again, I learned this from doing bandsaw demos over the years, especially at maker fairs when there's little kids hanging around and they all want their name. And uh, 
It's a lot of fun. It's also really good bandsaw practice.